Welcome to Spinbox Media, my name is John Young and today I'm going to be showing you our new image manner control for your Site Fluency 4 or 5 website. A large number of sites today on the web have a banner of some sorts, whether you're promoting key products or key areas of your site, an image banner is a great way to get important graphics, content, messages and links onto your web pages. Our image banner control takes care of most scenarios from static images to rotating graphics with associated text. There is also a resize option for responsive websites. So I have a page ready to go here. Adding the widget is very simple. Simply open the Spinbox widget section here and drag the control onto the page. Click on Add Banners and upload some of your images. I've got some images already, so I've got this one here. And I'll upload one more, this one here. Click on Save and Publish and I can show you what the image banner control looks like with simply images rotating using a fade effect. There we go. There are further customizations available. What we are able to do is change the transition effect. So obviously there are quite a few here. For this example I'll show you the scroll right uh, effect. We'll change the transition timeouts to 2 seconds and we'll increase the speed to 0.5. I'll also include some navigational elements, so we have some previous or next links here. We also have a paging uh, navigational elements here. So if I select those, uh, what I'll also do while I'm here is show you the post banner element, uh, which is simply a piece of HTML that you can include directly after the image banner control. So you can add some design elements into it. Uh, for this example, I can include a div of the class of banner shadow. Got a CSS rule already applied to this, so as soon as I close this off and save it, you'll see the banner shadow appear, and this just enables you to further customize the um, the look and feel of the image banner control. If I publish this and refresh the home page, you'll see that the navigation works fine, left and right, and we also have the the paging element down here. What we can also do is specify some banner text. So again if I edit, click on the actions drop down for the image you want to add the properties to. So let's go for this one here. Um, edit properties and then you can specify an image title. So we'll leave that as title. We have some alt text there. Um, we can specify some banner title text. So banner title, some banner description text, some anchor text or banner link text, so we'll call this anchor text, and a link destination. Click on save. Uh, what I'll also do is show you the, the resize feature, so if you have a responsive website, a responsive design, if you click allow banner resize, that will simply allow the banner to resize based on the screen resolution. So we'll click on save and publish refresh the page once again and you can see that all my changes have now taken effect. We have banner title, description and we have a working link. Um, also if I resize this we have a responsive banner. We have mobile, we have tablets and we have desktop or whatever you wish. Well, that's it for the image banner control. If you have any questions, please feel free to post on the site for Marketplace. Thanks for watching.